previously on Brick Attack. I don't know what I'm cutting through, but we're gonna go down through this. <laughs> ah, inside here. This is from Caleb who sent us stuff before. We've got numbered bags. We've got one, we've got two. I am in shock right now because it looks like Caleb sent us all of the Series 19 CMFs that just came out. This is absolute craziness. Parkman's already getting them all set up here. This should be a whole video by itself of all these guys because I do want to show them off. Why don't we do that? Let's do a whole video dedicated to these. We can tell you all about the ones that we like the most and show them off and I can make my new stand which I'm going to have to order some pieces for. So there it is guys, my finished Series 19 CMF stand, which thanks to Caleb is fully stocked with the entire collection. I built this in a very similar way as I did my previous stands that I've built. As you can see here, I've got Series 18 all in orange. And then over here, we've got Lego Movie 2, which I did purple. Of course, I did this with lime. I try to match it up with whatever color they go with, with on the boxes or on the manuals here. And I do wish though, if I could change anything, I wish they'd have the stands to match. I don't really like the black with that. That was all lime, sort of like what they did over here. I just like that being all orange, and I think that looks really fantastic. Of course, every time these come out, they have a different number of characters on this, and I think the 4x4 four four looks really good. So you've got four rows of four, which equals 16. Math attacks in the house. But yeah, I think this looks really great. And I told you earlier I would talk about my favorites and least favorites. And I have to say, I'm still sticking with it. I love... The dog catcher, let me see if we can get in on her there. Of course, I did have some extra pieces and the poop is on the dog's back. Also in that row, I love the pizza guy. Down here, I like the fox. I know the fox has gotten a lot of flack from people. I like the fox with the chicken. That's one of my favorites. This one with the bike, the biking girl. I don't know the official names for these, so I'll be making them up as I go. I think that one's really fantastic. If you went to the store and you were trying to look for one of these, that's probably the easiest one to try to get since the bike's going to be in there. And I don't think there's anything else that you would probably mistake for that. So that's a nice one to have. This bear Clark was immediately attracted to. I don't know about that one. I also don't know about the rugby player. Rugby player. I guess my complaint with this one is that I wish it was an American football player. I wish it had like the helmet and shoulder pads, football, all the gear. I think that'd have been really great. Up on the second level here, I do love the flamingo. That's probably my favorite part of that character. This one, I don't know if he's like, I guess he's like a robot bounty hunter. I don't know. That one's just okay to me. Up here, I really love the Explorer guy. I love his, I think someone said it's a chameleon. Whatever that thing is, I like it. What I don't like on this row is this girl right here. Not because she's a female firefighter, but because I have so many firefighters and nothing really special there. This one here, which is the female Pharaoh or Cleopatra, I like, I know a lot of people weren't loving it because from what I understand, it's a repeat of some other pieces we've had before, but I don't have them, so it's new to me. We've got the female coder over here. I love her accessory. I think that's great. And I just like her hairstyle and I like everything about that. So that's one of my favorites from that row as well. Up top here, 
the gamer guy. I feel like if this is Toy Story and these things came to life, these two would get together. So I like him. This guy, the bath guy, little weird, little odd, little strange. Got the green duck, also an odd choice. He does have the fabric around his waist there, which is his towel. And I think that's pretty cool. We should look though. We got to look and see what's under there. This is where things get really weird in the video. Let's see what we got going on here. It's suds. He's got suds. That's fantastic. Even if you just kept it like this. Oh my goodness. Am I the first person to do this? I can't be. There had to be somebody else that's done this before. Please tell me someone else has done this. That might end up getting cut out, but we'll put him back on there. And let's just finish this off with the last two. And probably my very least favorite out of all of them is this guy right here. I'm really not sure what he's supposed to be. It looks like a Chima something or other. And this one I don't really like either. So that top row is a little weak in my opinion. I do like these two guys. I like this row. Well, yeah, every row seems to have somebody that's weak. Like if I had to drop someone from each row, I would drop these two instantly. And then this row, I would drop the female firefighter. This row, I would drop the bounty hunter. And this row, I would drop the rugby player probably. But all the rest, man, there, there's some good ones in here. And comparing this to Series 18. I don't know if it's because this is the first series I collected, but I really love these. Lego Movie 2, I love that movie. I think the characters are pretty good from this, but I'd say of these three, that's probably the weakest. And right now, I'm just really feeling this one. I don't know if it's because it's new and I just build it, but I think this is just great. I said to myself in the past that I would never collect CMFs because I felt like they were really overpriced. I felt like $4 for each figure was a little excessive and I would rather use that $4 towards a set, especially if you're somebody like me that at the time only wanted a couple out of each series and you're not very good at feeling the bags and you go and you get something that you don't necessarily want and you drop four bucks on it. That to me was kind of a turnoff, but then I found myself splitting boxes with people and getting the complete series 18 and then people gifted me these and these were sent to us in the mail from Caleb, for example. And now I don't see a point in the future where I don't collect entire series. I think this is great. I love having them on shelves like this. And then you start adding these together. And I know they're, they're a little off because there's a different number of figures in each one. But I don't know. I just start really getting into this. And I love the way that looks. Like, think about how this is going to be once I get, like, 10 series deep into this. It's going to be just so cool. And I find myself just really interested in Lego minifigs. Oh, and if you're wondering, I'm purposely not saying minifinger because I just get way too many comments about it when I make videos like this. So yeah, I really love collecting minifigs. I do want to say something about this particular one. I know you've, you've seen these in previous videos and maybe I'll try to link those down below if you want to see me build those up. But this one, I did a little bit of a, an oopsie, I guess, when I was ordering. I didn't have enough of the two by four bricks that I put on the inside here. I don't know what I did when I was ordering, but they gave me the proper number. I had to go to my collection and find an extra 12. I should have had 32 when I ordered 20. Just when you think you do all the math on your thing that you're building. Like I checked it over multiple times. I don't know what happened there, but luckily I had some in my collection. If you are trying to build one of these, I felt like I tried to show it the best that I could and how to build it. It's very simple. All of these have essentially the same technique in building them up. You don't have to do anything too crazy other than just make sure the pieces are interlocked and leave space for your for your figures. Oh, that hurts. And I've experimented with different heights. Personally, I like it so the next line starts right above or right about where these characters' heads are because if you do it any lower than that, like if you did this three high instead of four high, they'd be kind of sunk down below and you couldn't see all the details. So this is the way I like building them. The internal structure, the reason that I did this in lime, and you'll see this one's also lime, is because for some reason, that seems to be the cheapest parts, the cheapest price. I have no idea why, but I've looked at mobile sellers, particularly the seller that I bought these from. I was like, okay, let's see what your cheapest color is to do the inside. Cause I was willing to do it any color. You're never going to see it. In this case, it was lime. When I ordered these purple parts from a completely different seller, you know what the cheapest color was to do the inside? Lime. So I'm very thankful that they came out with the lime series this time, because I think I probably saved some money on this. I don't know how much I spent because I did order a couple other parts for a project that I'm working on, but I can tell you what the cost was here possibly without revealing too much of my information. And this might help you too if you're trying to build one of these, but the one by ones were only two cents a piece. These are all new. The one by two limes were two cents a piece as well. The one by fours were four cents. The two by twos were three and a half cents. And the two by fours were nine cents. So I didn't spend too much. You can see the total cost over here, 60 cents, 30 cents, $3 and 40 cents, $1 and 57 and a half cents, $1 and 80 cents. Then I got some yellow pieces here too, that I'm working on a little something that I, that I'm trying to do. So that's all I spent on it. 
whatever that adds up to be. Some math detector can do that in there. But uh, yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out and hope this video was entertaining to you. Hope maybe it was helpful if you're trying to get the entire collection. And now you know my opinions on all of these guys too. So thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, next video.